It's a quarter to one in the afternoon and it is hot. But we're just taking it real easy. We're just going from one shade patch to the next and resting, making sure we get plenty of water. And uh, it's also good to remember that we've been doing this for 30 days now. <clears throat> we're, I don't know if I can say we're conditioned, but I guess that'd be the word for it. That's not to say that we got to take this heat for granted or anything, because she could overheat real quick. Any of us could. But we're we're doing all right. She's uh, pulling those hills. We're not really in hill country anymore. Not not like we were. And pulling those hills for Reba was just like a weightlifter doing sets. You know, push, 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 same muscle, same muscle group, same muscle group, rest, then same muscle group, hit it again, hard, 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 then rest. It's, that's just like a, what a, how a weightlifter would train. And like her trainer, I was helping her along to everything she could to get in shape. And man, she got in shape. Her muscles are absolutely huge. But now we're gonna be on these, more like these flats in this heat. We're gonna we're gonna mosey along and see how we do in the heat and just be real careful, go real slow, and uh, uh, that's a different kind of cause for a different kind of thing. She might lean down a little now, although <clears throat> we're we're pretty close to the end of the trail, so uh, I'm I'm just real happy with her. She's done one heck of a good job. Jill, she's under the wagon. She's smart enough to know she she walks under the wagon as we mosey along. Well, that's about it for now.